Hey guys, Kaltorek here, and today I want to show you guys the basics of Season of Discovery Mage AoE and my current favorite gold farm. Based off the comments on my last video, there is some confusion around how to maximize your healing while also maximizing your damage. Hopefully this video helps you out. Now, the core of Mage AoE revolves around these three runes. Living Bomb, which puts a single target damage over time on the enemy. When it expires, it explodes for AoE damage. Regeneration, a channeled heal that applies a buff that makes all arcane damage you deal heal that player. And Living Flame, this puts a flame on the ground that deals damage to all units standing in it. What's important with this spell is it does spell fire damage, which counts as arcane damage for regeneration. This interaction is what's key in this AoE farm. After the nerf to how much arcane explosion was healing, it is not enough on its own to survive massive incoming damage. A large portion of the healing I am receiving is coming from Living Flame. Here is how I open with most pulls. I start by casting regeneration on myself before I pull, and then immediately drink. When I am full mana, I begin to pull targets with Living Bomb. Depending on how much HP the mobs have, you want to send out 3 to 5 Living Bombs. After my third Living Bomb, I use Living Flame. After Bombs and Living Flame are out, I spam Arcane Explosion until all mobs are dead. A few tips to make you more successful and die way less. Living Flame is a small fire on the ground, and sometimes mobs will spread out and not be standing in it. I will stutter around back and forth in small steps to cause the distant mobs to reposition towards the mobs on the Living Flame. If you find yourself taking too much damage, frost over them in the Living Flame and position yourself in the dead zone while continuing to Arcane Explosion. While it is possible to live smaller pulls without Living Flame, you will always need it up for the bigger pulls. Be wary of Living Flame resisting. If it does, you may need to run away immediately. I try to target the lower leveled mobs to reduce the chance of it resisting. My current favorite spot to AoE farm is at the boats and wetlands. These undead sailors drop lots of high level greens as well as silk cloth. Since the mobs are a high level, it tends to also be uncontested. A chest will also spawn in the bottom of both boats, which is nice for collecting shipment crates. I'll clear the top and bottom of the boat, then move to the other. On average, this is what I'm getting per hour. Ignoring the RNG gold gain from greens, I'm getting two gold raw, another one gold in grays, four stacks of silk, and two stacks of wool. For me on Chaos Bolt, this farm is averaging me anywhere from eight gold to 15 gold per hour, depending on what BOE greens I find. Obviously, this is impacted by the prices on your realm and how contested the farm is for you. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe. If you haven't yet, check out my video on soloing Deadmines as a 25 mage. Thanks!